Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 6, Simple Harmonic Motion. This is Section 6.I, Changing Mass and Period of a Mass Spring System. Here's the scenario. You could read the scenario to yourself if you would like. Pause the video if you would like. Alright, so here's the first question. Uh, the spring system has 10 joules of energy. You're going to calculate M, which is mass, K, spring constant, and A is the aptitude. Okay, I explain your method. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to um, solve for M. 10 joules of energy, so I have right here. Joules of energy, so my E energy here is going to be a summation of my um, gravitational is there gravitational maybe gravitational potential uh, plus uh, spring potential plus my kinetic okay uh, UG uh, my gravitational potential is defined as MGH my spring is one half kx squared plus my kinetic energy is one half of v squared all right so a couple of things that we can get here is that we can let's say get um oh our height that we know our height here it's not going up or down so this is going to go to zero this goes to zero because height is zero um, the k one half kx squared is there any spring potential uh, nope it's at equilibrium so this is going to go to zero and all we have here is our one half mv squared we need v we're trying to solve for m so we need v so we need to get v somehow right so we know at we know that this is v right and this is our initial this is our x equals to zero part that's where we are x equals to zero it's what two so you have to read this this is two meters sorry two meters per second at the initial so here it's traveling two positive meters per second all right so here velocity was equal to two meters per second so you can make that substitution here e is equal to one half m two squared but we know what e is we know our e is really right here 10 joules of energy it says it right here so 10 joules you can solve for this you should get multiply this by 2 so this becomes so uh, this looks this should be 1 half 4 so 4 over 2 m 10 then this becomes what 2 then divide by 2 to both sides so this should be 5 so 5 m is what I have as the mass okay again this is just me using conservation of energy all right good um, for the next part I am gonna solve for K you can't use this because uh, this went to 0 so you have to use something else okay so let's see how we're going to solve for k i have my period equation okay if this was the period is equal to 2 pi square root m over k again because this is a mass on a spring good all right so let's see what i can get here i am trying to i have the mass so i can make this substitution 2 pi square root this was 5 for the mass 
and I'm trying to solve for the k and I need to know what the period is so let's take a look at the period part right here okay and it says that okay so we need to look at the period remember what the period is defined as the period is one complete uh, cycle so this I want you guys to understand this is one cycle okay this is once this is one cycle of the sine graph this is one complete cycle of the cosine graph look at where this starts so this goes from here to here to here boom this is one cycle of the cosine graph right here and this time it took him only what four so we can say here that the t is equal to four seconds because this is the time that it took to complete one cycle so we could have a four here okay now we can do some uh, math on this so we can let's say divide this by two pi to get rid of this part okay then we can square root it we're gonna square this by 2 that's how we get rid of this squared here okay so that becomes that and we want K so what do we do mm, oh we can just flip this right so if you want to really think about this in terms of like a fraction this is what's really occurring okay so I'm just gonna change its spot so this so here's the equal sign is equal to this right so this is going to just replace K and K is going to go up good All right and we again we don't need to ever write that divide by one so this is just a quick version of the math okay all right that's what K should look like all right, and again, we can plug that into the calculator if you would like to see. So let me grab Desmos. Scientific. Okay, we have 5 divided by the square root of 4 divided by 2 pi. And I think we also had to square this, right? Okay, exactly like that. So you should get a 12.33. That's a reasonable K constant. All right. So here, the K is going to be K is equal to, what did Desmos say? 12.33. So let's see, 12.3. Okay. And the spring constant is over a Newton meter. All right. Lastly, we are so we got mk now we want to find the aptitude right the aptitude is going to be defined by this equation so the it's one half it's one half k aptitude squared right this is the spring constant is equal to the energy all right so we should already know our substitution so let me bring this all up we should already know our substitutions right okay so we know that k is boom 12.3 12. 12. Uh, let's, let's make a little bit more room here it was 12.3 12.3 we want to solve for a we know our energy was 10 joules right yep right 10 joules so this can be replaced by 10 let me do some math now how do you get rid of this the 2 here by multiplying this by 2 okay so I just want to make sure this gets multiplied by 2 that's how you get rid of the 1 half and how do you get 
this to the other side, you just divide it over. So divided by uh, 12.3. That's how you get rid of this. And we want a by itself. So how do you get rid of the squared? You square root. Okay. And then here you go. You just want to bring up decimals. Okay. That was so square root. Where's the square root symbol? Square root. On top was uh, was a fraction. So on top was a ten times 2 on bottom was our 12.3 that uh, point 3 uh, 12.33 yep and we got an aptitude of 1.27 so there you go the aptitude is 1.27 meters all right there you go so some equations that you need to know this is the total energy equation Right. This is the uh, period equation given a, a spring, and this is the energy equation in terms of the aptitude. Okay. All right. So next, uh, you could read this scenario to yourself if you would like. Okay. In here, but the argument here is that you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna write in a paragraph explaining why the maximum speed and the period in each case is different. Okay, you should read the first case to yourself. I'm not gonna read it to you. Okay, so just read it to yourself. All right, I'm gonna show the answer now. All right, so before we get going, I just want to make sure that you got this information. The total uh, mechanical energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is proportionally to the squared of the aptitude. One half K A squared. All right, just wanted to make sure you got that. That's the period equation here too, as well. All right, here's the explanation on why that would occur. It's right here, okay? The, it's really E is equal to one half M, um, MV squared. This is the potential spring. And this is the kinetic, one half kx squared, but x is replaced with a. That's how this came to be, right? Because it's at its maximum value, right? But here is just some notes. Here are the energy for it. Okay, all right. So I wrote looking at the graph for both cases. So let's take a look. In case one, there is an increase in the amount of wave cycles in a given time from 20 to 25 seconds. So look, it goes from here to here, 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 likewise here. Okay, so the increase in cycles mean the period increase. The period would have to increase because when the dart is shot in, when the dart is shot into the cart, the end system had a greater mass because the dart and cart combines into one mass. It's an elastic collision. So please take a look here. So this is the original equation, but now the new equation with the new um, chart was t is equal to m v um, m pi. The mass is now the cart. It w originally it was just the cart and over k, but now it's the cart plus the dart. Do you see how the value would increase? Because it's on top, it's on the numerator. That's why the period also has to increase. Okay. Second part. The difference in the two cases is actually the change in the amplitude. In case one, the block and the dart moves in the same direction at the moment of collision. All right. So he went from here and he went from here and they're all going this way. All right. As a result, after the collision of the cart dart having more mechanical energy, the increase in mechanical energy is an increase in the aptitude of the wave. So as E is equal to one half K A squared, if E goes up, A also has to go up. This makes sense because this was the, if you take a look, that was your initial. And look on top here, this is your final. Do you see how it went up? In the second case, okay, look at it. This is the initial. And the solid line was your final. Here it went down. In case two, the block and the dart moves in the opposite direction. So it was 
let me make this blue so you can see it. So here and here, they're in the opposite direction. As the result of the collision, the dart plus the cart plus dart has less mechanical energy. The decrease in mechanical energy results in the decrease in the amplitude of the wave. Likewise. That means if this goes down, if the energy goes down, the amplitude also has to go down. That makes sense here. Okay? But there you go. So make sure you have these two equations memorized. Okay? Um, this is given, but I want to make sure that you understand where this came to be. You should also have this understood and know where this came to be. It's right here if you would like the explanation. Okay? But there you go. Those are all your solutions.